Hey ya freaks! Here we are again making another lame video. Lame cooking video. But you know what? This is actually pretty good stuff over here. Today we're making black java stew. And of course we're going to cook it outside because I like cooking outside. I like practicing my uh, camp cooking work. And um, so without further ado, let's snap into action. Uh, this beef stew is very meaty. It's got a lot of beef in it. Um, you want... Uh, you want about three pounds of beef. I like either lemon broil or, um, say, one of those chuck roasts. I'd rather cut up a chuck roast because it has less sinew in it and it's less work. And it's just a little bit cheaper. Uh, so I got three pounds, but I couldn't find any that I needed at the grocery store, so I got lemon broil. Three pounds chopped up. One onion chopped up. Uh, salt and pep. You need a three quarters of a cup of strong black coffee. Uh, let me just check my records here. Uh, of the cup. Shit, where's my black coffee? Oops, did I curse? I'm going to shoot. Three quarters of a cup of black coffee. Um, eight ounces of sliced mushrooms. Usually they get the white button mushrooms. Um, but I'm going to try the uh, portobellas today because I, I like portobellas. And you need three quarters of a tablespoon of thyme. It could be fresh like mine or dry. Uh, dry and fresh, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, the time flavor really doesn't change when it dries. I have that in the garden. I couldn't find it in my cupboard. So I use the, uh, the fresh. Uh, three cloves of garlic. You need three quarters of a cup of flour. Two tablespoons of butter. Uh, how, could, how could that go wrong, right? With, uh, butter's awesome. Uh, it says salt and pep. Oil. You need one and a quarter cup of wine. Plus... Now that wine is either blush or like a dry red. Um, I'm doing with this, uh, as I focus this in. Yeah, that's what I'm drinking or using. I need something to cook. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, slow down there, partner. All right. So we're all wined up. Uh, I'm going to take all this outside and then we are going to uh, cook it up. Like, I got to show you something. I got a new toy. And, um, we're going to cook this in a Dutch oven using coals. But uh, here's the recipe. Just in case. Let me see if I can focus it on it. Um, we want to take a screenshot of that. Uh, come on, hurry up. Write it down. Okay. So let's take it outside and get going. Alrighty then. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, for my Dutch oven, Camp Chef sells a table. Uh, for your Dutch oven. It's a nice table, but it's like $150, $180. I couldn't justify spending that kind of money. I mean, Camp Chef's got great products, don't get me wrong. But, you know, what they have is like, uh, you know, it's like sheet metal or tin or something. They just kind of molded it. It's kind of flimsy. I, I just couldn't see justify spending that kind of money on it. So what I did, so, so I put it on the back burner. So I found this at a yard sale yesterday. I bought it for 50 bucks. This is a... Um, I, it's, it's a sink. I think it's used for uh, washing uh, paint supplies. Uh, it's aluminum. It's light. It'll last a lot longer than the Camp Chef dealie will. And um, so, you know, I'm, I'm kind of trying it out right now. See how it goes. But uh, $50, I gotta go wrong. I don't know if I want to cut this down and have the front completely open like the Camp Chef ones. Or, or would I just keep it as a double duty slop sink slash Dutch oven cooker? I, I don't know, but uh, I'll work all that out. But anyway, good find. Woohoo! So let's get this and snap this into action. Okay, so the coals are in there. I am going to light it. If I can just, you know, my garage is a mess. You're stepping over everything. I'm going to light it. And I got uh, 22 coals in there, and I got, I got a little piece of, uh, I got some trash I pulled out of the garbage can. And I will light the coals, and I, of course I will always use lighter fluid. I know we don't have to use lighter fluid, but I do anyway. Why? Of course I'm just funny like that. So that's going to light. It'll take about 20 minutes to get going. So, 20 minutes. What do I do for 20 minutes? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I know what I'll do. I will enjoy some sushi. And you know what? They never give you enough wasabi. So, I can bring my own. So, see you in about 20 minutes. Mmm. Sushi. 
More you. Ah. Mmm. 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 The coals are done. I'm heating up the pan. The pan is heating up nicely. So the next step is to saute the mushrooms with the butter. Easy enough. So easy a cave van to do it. Leave it in there. It could be a little hotter, but it'll get hot. Two seconds. Yum yum. What we're really doing is sweating down these onions, um, mushrooms, excuse me, and uh, just drawing the flavor out of them. Good stuff. A little bit longer. These gotta come out. We set aside. Then we're gonna add the meat to brown it. So let's just do that. Do this uh, in small batches. It's got so much moisture in it. That it's gonna take a while. It, it, it's not really gonna brown that well to the moisture. It kind of evaporates. And it's really gonna. And it's really gonna crank. It, it, small batches are better. But I just dumped it in. Cause I'm stupid. All right, we are getting there. We're about ready to take it out and add onion and oil. Let this cook down a little bit. See, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a lot of moisture in there. But uh, I'm gonna take it out and just cook the rest of this liquid down and then add the onions. How it goes. I think you're adding coals. They don't make coals like they used to. I mean, back in the day, the kings were coals were like, I don't know, man, they were like really big. Really puny little turds. Alright, we're gonna add the onion. Add some oil. We're gonna saute this. That's olive oil, by the way. In case you were wondering. Okay. Okay, in this bowl with the meat, we're going to combine salt, pepper, and the flour, and then we're going to mix it all to coat. And when it's done, it should look something like this. Ta-da! for two hours. Every now and then come back and check it. You're going to have to add some coals every now and then. Don't be afraid to do it. This is man's work over here. This ain't badminton. Don't be a sissy. Add coals. All right, we're about done here. Let's have a quick taste. Oh, that's really good. Splendid, as you say. It's going to stick a little bit on the bottom. Nice and thick. I'm gonna try it. Just to see. Oh, hot. 
Hold on, man. Let's go. About half an hour. But, you know, I remember that. You know, nobody in this house likes time. Of course, I put time in it. Nobody in this house likes mushrooms, which is a dreaded shame. And um, nobody in this house likes peas either. Oh, well. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing with such an old strainer? This is actually from the family restaurant. I can't get rid of it. Just a little salt. That much. And I would say, let it go for another half hour. And this is going to be the dish. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to put this with mashed potatoes. Oh, wow. Thirty minutes. Alrighty, the final taste test. I'm gonna check it out in my little bowl here. You know, that's a nice bowl. I don't even know how to pronounce that. But man, these are nice bowls. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Black Java stew. Delish. I'm gonna make this on my next camp out.